Nine. Second full day in New York City. I think I'm ready. What's up guys? We made it to Richie's gym. Second day here. We are training legs today. This weather is unforgiving, so we are going to be asking around for suggestions and things to do on a rainy day in New York City. I think we might hit a museum, but first, it's time to crush this workout. We just got back from the gym, took a quick shower, and I walked out of the shower to a bunch of groceries. Thank you so much to Edwin. It's uh, Bravo Supermarket on 80 East 93rd Street. Awesome, so if you guys are in the Brooklyn area, go check it out. We are so grateful, thank you so much. And now we can eat. Yay. <laughs> Yes, I'm making breakfast at two o'clock for this beauty, Randy, and myself. I am cooking up some egg whites and I just made us some turkey bacon as well. Let's play a game called how many people can you fit in one Uber? Many. <laughs> Seven. How are you feeling down there, Christian? I'm feeling great. How are you, buddy? I'm feeling great. <laughs> what a man, he switched you back me. A 75 minute Uber ride and we have finally arrived. This is what everyone keeps talking about. Even a line outside in the rain. See if they live up to the hype. Dinner. Now the entire crew is here. the gym we have to move on to our next Airbnb in Manhattan Rob is making some breakfast for us right now I love cooking so chef lips yeah chef lip in the house making some egg whites and some chef turkey bacon. bacon what else are you making Rob um, I think I'm gonna try on some ground beef oh here I'm here getting all <laughs> into it. Uh, whatever's in the fridge it'll be ground beef tomatoes am I make an omelet Tomatoes. tomatoes. He says tomatoes. Do you say tomato or tomato? Today is day one of the YouTubers retreat events. We are starting with a Halloween parties. How was when that, the, Amanda? When the Uber driver offers you his chicken nuggets. Why not? 
<laughs> Randy and I politely declined. <laughs> What's up guys, we just checked into our Airbnb in Manhattan and it literally is like 10 bedrooms. <laughs> That's okay, we're good. Our makeup artist is here and she is going to be doing all of our Halloween makeup for the event tonight. Just finished makeup. I am officially a cheetah. Just totally killed it. Randy, show, show YouTube your makeup. Half skeleton, half Beauty. <laughs> Gorge. Thank you, Jessica. I will put all of her information in the description box below, so definitely hit her up. She is amazing. So, so, so awesome. I even have cheetah spots on my neck. That's all. Catch you guys tomorrow. Kind of, you know, doing your your day job or whatever it may be to becoming a full time social influencer or YouTuber. What did you find most difficult? You can definitely speak to that as well. Uh, my background is actually in psychology. I have a graduate degree in psychology. I worked as a full time psychologist in elementary school for four and a half years before. I got into fitness and, and making that change was definitely something that was very, very scary. Um, not only for myself, but also um, I thought about what would let people down and the expectations of others. But at the end of the day, you kind of have to let those expectations of others go and remember that life is short and you have to do what makes you happy. Um, yes, it is scary and there were definitely times where I was like, holy crap, what am I doing leaving this stable job and my salary behind to do something that like has so many what ifs. Uh, but like I said, at the end of the day, life is short and I know I knew waking up every day I wasn't doing something that I was incredibly passionate about. Uh, I didn't feel, my, my heart wasn't full, I wasn't, uh, I didn't feel so. And yeah, there are definitely times in making the transition where I struggled, but I can honestly say now, you know, even through those struggles, I'm legitimately happy because I'm doing something that I love. But at the end of the day, nobody else is you. And that's what's so cool about it. So you have to capitalize on the things that make you you and run with it. for uh, over a year and I'm finally getting a chance to wear it so that kind of shows you how often I go out. Night two of the YouTubers retreat. Big thank you to Javon for having me and for allowing me to be a part of the event this weekend. It's been so incredible and it's been such a wonderful experience getting to meet everyone and getting to talk to everyone. I truly was so honored to be a part of the panel discussion this morning. Just having the opportunity to share my experiences throughout my journey. Being able to relate with the other YouTubers and hopefully inspire and educate those that came to the event. It's really what it's all about. So props to you, Javon, for making this event come to life. Being, having a dream and having a vision and making it come true. Close till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. So me and Randy just woke up and we went on a hunt in our Airbnb for shampoo and conditioner and I found this one. Shampoo. So this one's definitely shampoo. This one I think is conditioner. It says the words 
Shark fuckins. <laughs> I'm assuming this means it's thickening conditioner. It's also a little like white and creamy, so I'm using my detective skills to determine that this one is the conditioner. If anyone knows what language these uh, shampoo and hopefully what's going to be conditioner in my hair bottles are, <laughs> please comment below and let me know. I guess we'll find out. Trial and error. We are here yeah. in the subway station and we are headed to Central. Everybody smile. The storms we chase are leading us and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. Ready? One, two, three. And Walking around Central Park, so we stopped at this little food stand. Randy's so super excited. I got cashews and I got this pineapple fruit bar. It's all natural fruit bar. Everything on the menu here actually tells you what the calories are. So if you're still being mindful of your diet, even at the stands, the food stands in Central Park, you can track. My pineapple all natural fruit bar was 80 calories. So everyone stopped and got these famous nuts, and then I'm the weirdo who got the frozen fruit bar. <laughs> Man is commenting on the fact that I always have like weird uh, food selections. Earlier when we went to Subway, everyone got a sub, and I asked for a baggie of banana peppers. We just got off the Subway, and now it is downpouring. Five minutes ago, it was beautiful and sunny. Fought the rain and made it to the last place that I wanted to try before we left New York City. The donut plant. another recommendation. They had a bunch of different kinds of meat patties. I went with elk. I've never had an elk burger, so I'm really excited to try that. We're able to customize and like build our own burger type thing, so I'll show you what I got when it comes. I have the elk meat, lettuce wrapped with sprouts, spinach, no cheese, and some grilled onions. It's possible to make good choices when you are out to eat, or even if you are only loosely tracking, just making healthy choices so that you can have cookies after. <laughs> Aaron's helping me out with my Snapchat game right now. This, this snap is lit. <laughs> but literally yeah. lit. Did you really buy special daytime light yeah. light bulbs for this reason? Yeah. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> I've been traveling this weekend, so what I typically do is not what you've probably seen over these past two days. Winding down after the final day and night here in New York City, we head back to Los Angeles tomorrow and I just honestly have to say that this trip was by far one of the best trips I have ever had. Just to have an entire week to spend with some of my closest friends, with the people who motivate and inspire me more than anything. I'm just leaving this trip feeling so blessed and just so incredibly inspired. I'm so grateful to have these people in my life, to be able to call them my friends. They are just my biggest source of inspiration. All of the people that I had the opportunity of meeting at the YouTubers retreat, I'm so grateful to have met all of you guys. I forgot to show you guys last night one of my subscribers surprised me with a little gift including some body oils, some lavender body bath salts, bar soap, and this absolutely beautifully written card. Thank you so much, Sarah. Honestly, never in a million years that I have thought that I would have the ability or the opportunity to connect with, to inspire, to motivate people. It just brings me so much joy because it truly is my passion and it truly is what I know in my heart is my purpose. To have that opportunity and to be able to connect with all the people that I connected with this weekend, I have no other word for it but to just say that I feel so blessed. So thank you for everyone who took the time to chat with me this weekend. You guys motivate me and inspire me more than you absolutely know. I appreciate all of you who watch my channel, who comment. I am leaving this trip with just a very full heart and just very, very grateful. Thank you, Javon, for putting on 
on this event. I'm so grateful that I was able to be a part of this one and I look forward to the next one. It's just so awesome to see my friends succeed and to see dreams coming true. I'm just so happy that I was able to be a part of it. There's no place like home and I'm excited to head back tomorrow and get back to normalcy and back to improvement season. I hope that you guys enjoyed these last couple of New York City vlogs. It'll be back to your regularly scheduled programming very soon. If you guys have any suggestions or things that you want to see in upcoming vlogs, please comment those below. I want to know what you want to see, so please comment that below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe to my channel, and I hope that I will see you guys next time. Storms we chase are leading us in love.